mayor is currently holding a priest up press conference where they did confirm one person is dead. The woman who lived on the top floor of the building here where we are on 13th Avenue. If we can pan over, you can see the fire is still smoldering. Three people were injured here. Uh, the people who were injured, they were walking by, passerbys, a man and his son, as well as another man. Now, the FDNY says more than 200 firefighters responded to the blast around 2 p.m. The building, according to property records, it's mixed use, residential, and a ground floor business. The blast sent debris flying. Parts of the building lay crumpled in the street. One witness who did not want to be on camera due to the Sabbath told me he saw the father and son hit by built the building facade. They were walking home from a prayer service. Now, a neighbor also told us what the explosion was like. I just felt everything shaking and I look at the window, the whole building gone. That, that, that building is gone and people on the floor and, I, and somebody screamed on the street, it's fire, fire. So I just, I knew I have a, a very small time. I grabbed my bag, put in everything what I can and just run out and, and that's it. There's one woman who died who was living on the top floor. Uh, a woman in her 60s, reportedly Dominican woman. Um, she's living there with her daughter, who is out of the country and is on her way back now. Um, a family uh, had moved out of the unit on the second floor, a family of four, about a week ago, so they're not there. And the governor released a statement this afternoon. He says this explosion is the latest in a disturbing trend of incidents that occurred in Harlem and the East Village. In light of this, I'm directing the State Department of Public Service to undertake an investigation into the cause of this incident. That investigation is ongoing and updates will be provided to the public as soon as they are available. Now, back here live in Borough Park, National Grid is on the scene here, and officials say that they are investigating this as a possible gas explosion, as Kaidi mentioned. Also, the woman that died, according to officials, she is still inside the building in a stairwell. Firefighters have not been able to get into the building because they are not quite sure yet how safe it is. Again, three people injured here, one critically. All of them were taken to Methodist Hospital. Those injured, they were people just walking by and they were hit by the debris. Of course, as we learn more, we'll bring it to you. We're live in Borough Park, Brooklyn. Allison Caden, Fix 11 News. Wow, it is so reminiscent of the explosion, gas explosion in East Village. Village earlier this year where uh, they determined finally that there was a, an illegal gas hookup. At this point, obviously, we do not know, right, Allison, what caused this gas explosion, if indeed it was a gas explosion. That is correct. The, because the building is still smoldering and they're not sure how safe it is, investigators have not been able to get inside. They do believe at this point this may have something to do with a stove hookup on the second floor in an empty building. So they are investigating this as gas related, but of course they will not put out their official reason as a gas explosion until they're able to get out in there and determine the exact cause. Of course, as soon as we know anything, we'll bring it to you. Okay.